name of I. Yes, Lord, we bless your name this morning for your goodness and for your mercies. Thank you for allowing us to uh, pray through these days. Even just, Lord, to be in a place of prayer uh, this 21st day. As we just pray together and um, continue to pray even after this, I pray that uh, uh, you'd uh, just uh, speak to each one of us this morning. To the glory and honor of your name, this is the day that you've made and we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Blessed be the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. It's a good morning. Um, and it's good to see each one of us uh, gather here on this Sunday morning. Um, I will try not to be so long. Uh, we'll pray together those who can gather physically uh, uh, at ICC. And if you not be at ICC this morning, I'm sure. If the Lord allows you to fellowship with the rest of God's children, uh, you will also find some more time to pray. I look back uh, today and see how the Lord has carried us through these days. To be honest, um, to be honest, <laughs> um, it's easy to not see the impact of prayer. Uh, but the truth is prayer is so spiritual. I believe that for the reason of just God's children gathering every morning, um, there are a lot of things that have aligned in the spiritual arena. There's nothing that happens in the physical world that doesn't first happen in the spiritual world. Nothing whatsoever. If you look around the world and what is happening today, uh, it's good to leave how the Bible instructs us, where how this is what Paul says. He says, redeeming time because days are evil. And if we ever thought that uh, evil is about to come to an end, no, according to scriptures, the Bible says, when evil abounds, grace abounds all the more. All the more. If anything, this is the truth, that whatever we have experienced growing up, we will experience even worse more as we continue to grow up. So what keeps us is a promise of the Father, is a promise of Jesus, that Jesus would pray and say, Lord, keep these ones, keep these ones. I pray that this will be a prayer of each one of us um, when we come to think about uh, what we are doing and the people we are raising whether they are kids or spiritual kids, because it's possible to have the two. Not just about the children we are raising, it's also about the people who are still Bible in our novice. Um, that um, what we do, how we lead our lives, uh, is a direct sowing of a seed, whether we know it or not. So when we gather to pray, let me stick to the issue of prayer then there's a lot that is happening. You may not have the strength. You may not see as if something is happening. But I encourage us to be at the place of prayer. When we read scriptures, um, Matthew 26, Mark 14, I believe uh, Luke um, 23, 22, we will see Jesus praying in a garden called Gethsemane. Gethsemane. While uh, uh, this series on prayers of scripture has presented men like Epaphras, Paul, Jabez, Jonah, we've not had time to talk about Jacob. As a matter of fact, if we had to talk about 
uh, the prayers of scriptures, we may need to every day do that maybe for the next like a month or so. We have so many prayers of scriptures uncovered um, as much as today is the last day. So as much as uh, this series is presented all these men uh, and will continue to present more prominent patterns of prayer, uh, the preeminent pattern is the one who is a perfect pattern for all things that are proper. And that's our Lord Jesus Christ. And when we examine the New Testament, there are so many things that we find. Number one, we find out that Jesus prayed. It is not encouraging to know that Jesus prayed. You guys know who Jesus is, don't you? Yes, you do. Jesus prayed. I think that's a whole sermon. Jesus prayed. Um, if I may present Jesus to us, Jesus is Christ. Uh, Jesus may have started when Mary gave birth, uh, or the name Jesus, but Christ is a creator. He was in all things. Colossians says that he is the firstborn of all things. Yeah. John says without him, nothing was created, nothing was made that was made. So he's not a creature, he's a creator. Jesus our Lord and our Savior, the hope for the world, prayed. He prayed. We find him praying for others. We find Jesus praying for the little children. It's not so encouraging, remembering last Sunday as we, not just last Sunday, but many other times that we pray for little children. He prayed for little children. Um, um, he prayed for Peter. Jesus prayed for Peter. You guys know that uh, Satan was about to sift Peter like wheat. And Jesus said to him, Satan, I saw Satan descending from heaven like lightning. I don't know why Jesus introduced this statement as such. It was so scary to tell a man that. And then he says, he wants to sift you like wheat. But Peter, I have prayed for you. I have prayed for you. So Jesus prayed for the children. He prayed for Peter. <laughs> Can I tell you another level of Jesus' uh, prayer? Jesus prayed for those who crucified him. So when Jesus he says, he says, Love your neighbor and pray for those who persecute you. He leads and he prayed for those who crucified him. Then he prayed for his disciples. Let me remind you something that Jesus did that all of us are doing every day, whether we know, know it or not. He knew there was a generation that would come 2,000 years plus, that is me and you here gathered. So Jesus, he prayed for the present, but he also prayed for the future followers. John 17, he prayed for you. And he's still praying for us. The Bible says he's seated at the right hand of the Father. That reminds me when we were breaking down the triune. We say God, God is a provider. The Father, God the Father is a provider. And as a matter of fact, there's nothing that we need that God has not already provided. All we need here on earth, whether material or immaterial, the Father has already provided. He's not in the business of creating new things to provide. He provided once and for all. And where is the Father? He's in heaven. Where is he? What is his position? He's seated. Is the position of the son is also seated. What did Jesus do? He came and brought salvation to humanity, whosoever, whosoever, whosoever. We were in a conference at ICC in Nairobi um, this week. 
And um, Tim Schmidt was teaching us and he said a very profound statement. He said, it's okay for churches to have target groups. It's okay. These are the people we are trying to attract and reach. He said, it's okay. And he said, I understand. I understand that language. I understand because I'm also an urban pastor. Skujua wazungu wana kwanga na church urban. Sji urban uko kwa wanongea taki swahili. Anyway. So he says, but do you know the target group of Jesus? Jesus said, whosoever, whosoever. So Jesus provides salvation for whosoever. Their levels of education, their status in life, social status and all that, whosoever. So where is Jesus? Jesus is seated. What is his primary responsibility right now? This one, it's what he did. He's interceding for us. He's not just praying. There's a difference between praying and intercession. He's interceding. Of course, there's petition. There is a prayer of supplication. There is intercession. So Jesus is interceding for us. He's interceding for us. Wow. Niko tukwa point one, but tutaruka to same he prayed for future followers. Let me say this and then maybe we can just end with this. Um, if Christ found it necessary to so pray, not just to pray, but to so pray, then such prayer ought to be practiced by you and me. If Jesus found it necessary to pray for kids, pray for Peter, who is in was in a stormy house to get into a hard season, to pray for his followers, to pray for the future followers, pray for those who persecuted him. Then we ought to pray. We ought to pray. Luke chapter 22, verse 39 to verse 46. Luke 29, verse um, uh, 39 to 46. And he came out and proceeded as it was his custom to the Mount of Olives. And the disciples also followed him. When he arrived at a place, he said to them, pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw. And he knelt down. See the physical posture of his prayer. He knelt down and began to pray, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Now an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. And being in agony, he was praying very fervently. And his sweat became like drops of blood falling down from the ground. When he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples. He came to Kina Joshua. He came to the church. He came to the followers. And lo and behold, found us, found them sleeping from sorrow. They did not sleep because they were sleepy. They had a lot of sorrow about their master. And he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up. This doesn't sound like washier. Doesn't look like please. This is not the time when I'm here. Why are you sleeping? Get up. She can tell each one of us. From me. Get up and pray. 
that you may not enter into temptation, that you may not enter. I just pick this phrase, if you are willing, speaking to the Father, remove this cup from me. I've skipped a whole part. Remove this cup from me. In his humility, Jesus prayed for the accomplishment of the Father's will. Kwenye nyekevu wake, ilikuwa ngatu ni mapenzi ya mungu. Mapenzi ya mungu. In spite of the cost of the cross, oh man, garama ya msalaba, a cost of which he was to he was fully conscious. He was fully conscious what was ahead of him. Jesus Christ courageously committed to keeping the Father's will. Even though it meant that he would be killed. This desire qualified his first petition that we've not talked about. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. In praying this way, we see again, Jesus is not just about what he said, as I said earlier. He practiced what he taught, what he preached. Such a spirit of submission is seen in songs like we sing and we say, thy way, not mine. O oh Lord, however dark it be, your way, your way, not my way. Jesus, it encourages each one of us this morning to know that you prayed, to know that uh, you truly prayed in different circumstances. We've talked about men and women who prayed. And it's so encouraging to know you who is and will always remain our perfect example. You prayed almost traditionally, just like a Jewish boy. In the morning, mid and evening, your prayers were characterized with loud cries and tears. And I pray that this morning, May we, Lord, be encouraged to stay and to remain in the place of prayer even when we know that our seasons are hard or even when we know that some of our friends, some of them that are in the family of faith, need to be supported in our prayer. For this reason, I pray for each one of us again gathered here this morning. I pray for charity, pray for Esther, I pray for Pastor James, pray for Agri, Josh and Jambi, I pray for them, pray for Stella, I pray for Edna Manjiko, I pray for Pua, I pray for myself and the rest of the church, that Father, in the name of Jesus, we will hear the voice of Jesus walk into our statement again. And his question will be, get up and pray. What is the situation like? We are so happy, get up and pray. The situation like, so heavy and difficult, Lord, he will say, get up and pray. That will not miss out on or in the place of prayer. So we pray for your church gathering today across the world. And you've instructed us, Lord, to speak in of the world, to pray for Israel. We are praying for Israel. We know Israel is God's nation. I pray that you may send help 
as much as we know these are part of prophecies of the last days, we play our part for praying for this nation. We pray for them. See if them, millions of them have been moved to a place where they don't have good access to food, to water, to health. Father, we pray that you'd contend for them as it is promised in your word. So we bless you this morning, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' precious name, have we prayed? And as we unmute, we all say amen. 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 And now may the days overlook. Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, us now. Amen. 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 Sunday, see you in Sunday. We are gathering together. God bless you. Bless you too.